Welcome to Math Made Easy with Frida. In today's video, we'll be covering exponents. This is part two. If you're not familiar with exponents or how they work with multiplication and division, please don't forget to watch part one of exponents, which will cover that and then move on to this video, which covers negative exponents and power of powers. So let's start. Negative exponents. A negative exponent is just a simple way of showing a fraction in a, with a power with an exponent, all right? Let's say I had a fraction one over 10, and that's to the power of five. A simple way of doing this is just writing 10 to the power of negative five. And so now let's write the rule over here. It's a very simple rule where x to the power of negative a is equal to one over x to the power of a. All right. Now this will become simpler to understand when we work with some examples, all right? Let's start. Let's start with the first example. What is two to the power of negative three? This is basically one over two to the power of three. That's it, you're done. What is two to the power of negative four? It's equal to one over two to the power of four. What is six to the power of negative one? It's basically equal to one over six to the power of one, which is just six. The inverse. What if you have a negative exponent in your denominator? Let's see this example. One over three to the power of negative four. Simple, you bring it up and make it positive. So this is actually equal to three to the power of four. Let's work one example and you will see how this makes everything so much easier. Let's do this, x cubed, y cubed over three into z to the power of negative four. Now let's get rid of this negative exponent. How would we do that? All we have to do is bring it up here, which will give me x cubed, y cubed, z to the power of 4 over 3. That's how we deal with some negative exponents. Let me show you some more uh, rules with the negative exponents after we learn the power of powers. When we have to raise a power to a power, we simply have to multiply the two exponents together. I'll show you an example. What if I had x to the power of 3? Now, this is to the power of 4. According to my rule, this is, says that x, this would be equal to x to the power of 3 times 4, which is x to the power of 12. Let's see the proof. I have x cubed into x cubed, x cubed into x cubed four times. This will be equal to x to the power of three plus three plus three plus three, which is x to the power of 12 or basically three times four. All right, so let's write this rule down. The rule says that x to the power of n, now that's to the power of m, will be equal to x to the power of n times m. That's another rule to remember when you're talking about powers. Let's do some examples. What if I have a negative power, 6 to the power of negative 3 to the power of 4? All I have to do is multiply the powers with their signs 3, negative 3 times 4, which will give me 6 to the power of negative 12 which is actually one over six to the power of 12. Another one, three to the power of two to the power of negative five. Let's multiply the powers, which is two times negative five, which will give me three to the power of negative 10, which is actually equal to one over three to the power of 10. We learned this just five minutes back about negative exponents. Another one, what if we have x to the power of negative 2 into negative 3 to the power of negative 3? This will be equal to x to 
the power of negative 2 into negative 3, which becomes positive, which is x to the power of 6. Now, let's go into some more about exponents, which are a little more advanced, okay? But with these rules are very, very handy to know. The first rule says that a over b, all right, if you have a fraction to the power of negative n, let's say negative 2 or whatever, this will be equal to, now flip it to b over a, and then your exponent becomes positive. Cool? That's a neat trick to, uh, to use when you're solving uh, some sums. Let's show you an example. What if I had 3 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 7 into 2 to the power of 2. Let me write this whole thing to the power of negative 2. So it'll be complicated to work with with a negative power. And the best thing to do is turn it to positive power. And that's by flipping the fraction. Okay, when we flip it, we get 3 to the power of 7 comes up over 3 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 3 comes down here. And now it becomes a positive 2. And it becomes easier to solve this uh, problem. Let's do it. We'll group the 3's together, then on top, which is 7 minus 4. And keep the 2 at the bottom because two, 3 is bigger down here. 2 to the power of 3 minus 2. Cool. To the power of 2. This will be equal to 3 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 2 is 1. So that's just 2 to the power of 1. This whole squared. And this works out to 3 to the power of 3 times 2 is 6. And 2 to the power of 2, 2 times 1 is 2, which calculates out to 729 over. Another rule I would like to bring up is when you multiply different numbers, when two have, you have two different bases, like a times b, but they're to the power of m. They can be split into a to the power of m into b to the power of m. Let's see an example. What if we had 2 to the power of 3 into 3 to the power of 2, and all this is to the power of 4. What we can do is we can split it, and we get 2 to the power of 3 times 4, and 3 to the power of 2 times 4. And that will be 2 to the power of 12 into 3 to the power of 8. And one more last rule I want to bring in is the division, which is very similar to this. What if we had a over b to the power of m? This is equal to a to the power of m over b to the power of m. Simple. If we have 2 to the power of 5 over 5 to the power of 2, the whole thing is to the power of 3. Simple, we can just take 2 to the power of 5 times 3 over 5 to the power of 2 times 3, which is 2 to the power of 5 threes are 15, and 2 threes are 6. Cool? So this was your lesson on exponents i hope it was helpful to you thank you for watching and if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want more videos like this and to be notified of new videos coming up please do don't forget to subscribe till then bye and have a nice day